So you like ghost stories, eh? Well come, and I will regale you with tales of horror. But please, keep an open mind, or I may just have you for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm not that terrifying in real life. So anyway, welcome to the Only Obtained channel. As you've noticed, no headphones. That's because I'm taking a chance and recording this with the laptop's microphone, which actually works fairly well. I mean, I recorded one or two videos for my YouTube channel just doing it. So, this vlog, or whatever I guess you could call it, is the revitalization of the Tea Time with Only of Taint series. And the series was never really that popular. But, I figured, why not? Some people in America like to see my face, and apparently my voice is cute. I don't know how a voice can be cute, but fair enough. So... In accordance with the name, I do have myself a nice cup of tea, because I'm a British person. Don't you judge me. Ah, nothing better than a cup of tea. So, what is the point of this video? This video is basically me, because I'm a crazy person, discussing different arbitrary... arbitrary I don't... I shouldn't use big words. <laughs> This is basically me going over the different urban legends that, uh, urban legends, folklores, mythologies, that I find to be <laughs> rather creepy and just downright what the hell is going on here. So, the first one I want to tackle is one that's been featured in the media, as in movies and games and so forth, and it's I don't think it's very widely known in the Western side of the world. I mean, I'm into history, mythology, and demonology as well. Yes, I research demons. All you religious people! <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I'm not a religious person, just so, just so you can. But, um, the demon I want to, well, demon, the per- <laughs> Sorry, I can't talk. The creature of folklore that I want to talk about is known as the Krasut. And if I'm any good at editing, which is probably no, there should be a picture of the Krasu appearing here. And well, I'm gonna let this trailer from a film show you, because it's based around the Krasu. So I'm gonna play the trailer, and I'm gonna let you see. Good luck! ไอ้ฟ้าแจ้งถูกบั่นคอไปแล้วข้าก็คงดมเช่นกันมันเปลี่ยนไปนะพ่อมันบอกใช่อีดาคนเก่าป้าบอกให้นักบวชผมดำเพื่อมันฆ่าครูบาตายวันหนึ่งกูจะฆ่ามันSo that was the trailer for the movie Demonic Beauty featuring the Krasu, which I hope doesn't give you nightmares. Please check under your beds. <laughs> anyway, moving on, I'm now going to talk about a popular Japanese folklore. Ah uh, yes, our friends over there in Japan, the people who brought us Sentai, Tentacle Porn, and Pixelated Dongs. This is gonna be good. So, most people have probably already heard of the urban legend known as Kuchisake Ona, 
otherwise known as the split mouth woman. If you don't know, well, here we go. In Japan, according to the urban legend, if you're alone, either during the day or during the night, and you happen to be of the arrogant and cocky sort, you may come across a woman wearing a surgical mask, having long black hair, and wearing a trench coat. Now, over in Japan, that's not really anything out of the ordinary. I mean, we've seen so many different horror movies over here in the West, and possibly over there as well. Bear in mind, I'm not from Japan. I'm a Brit. And they've... So many have used the whole long black hair look that it's almost become so much of a cliche. However, so nothing and the whole surgical mask thing is so is normal for them over there because it helps prevent the spread of diseases, or at least tries to anyway. So nothing really out of the ordinary there until she says, do you think I am beautiful? At which case you can answer yes or no. Should you answer yes, she will remove the mask and what you're left with is what's here. Yeah. That's what's under that mask. So, she will then ask, am I still beautiful? In which case you can answer yes or no. Answer no, she'll kill you dead. Answer yes, she'll cut up your mouth so it looks like hers. And in which case you'll also be dead. So, in other words, you meet this woman, you are dead. And guess what? I believe I have found some video evidence as well. Well, not evidence, more or less a trailer. Just like I did with the crass suit, because let's face it, nothing helps scare little pe nothing else scares people more than a video. Enjoy. So welcome back, and that was the trailer for the movie Carved, which, once again, I want to see, because I want to see this shit. So, we've had the Krasu and we've had the Split Mouth Woman. What could possibly come next, hmm? What could possibly be what comes next? How about Hanaku-san? Sound familiar? No? Well, allow me to spread a little light on the subject. Hanako-san is an urban legend and folktale story in Japan. Yes, we're staying in Japan because I love those guys. And it's effectively kind of an iffy story, as if the other two weren't iffy enough. Basically, you go into a, you go into the bathroom where there's a ton of stalls, and I'm not too sure on the specifics. I'm not too sure if it's a singular area, like a school, or it might just be any area. But let's say it's a school, right? Because from the pictures I've seen, she's wearing a school uniform. Yeah, I, I researched this shit. So, you go into the stall, and no, you go into the bathroom, sorry, and you go to her stall. You knock three times, and you ask, are you there, Hanako-san? In which case, she may reply, yes, she may apparently reply with, yes, I am. In which case, you can actually open the door, and she will be there. Now, there are two things that can happen here. One is what I call the lucky option, which is she'll vanish. The second option is what I call the screwed to death one, because that basically means she will drag you into the toilet and you will die. 
Now, I'm no expert, but to fit a human being down a toilet drain, that's kind of a tight squeeze. And to not get stuck. So yeah, you might be coming out as human soup. Of course, there's always the option of not going in, which is what I would do. I mean, if I was in there and I as, uh, and I asked, hello, are you there, Hanako-san? And she replied with yes, I would run. I would run out of there quicker than you can say bye-bye. Now, sadly, I don't believe there's a trailer in this, of which case I can put in the video. Just as so, because... The video evidence for these creatures is almost non-existent as far as I know, and let's face it, if they were meant, if you, here's the thing about folklore that I love, it may be true, it may not be true, we may never know, but it adds an air of mystery to the cultures and the people of that culture. And I find it fascinating because I grew up reading history, mythology, demonology, I grew up reading all this. And learning about these different things. And I found it so fascinating. And some things in my mind are just not meant to be understood. Like urban legends and folklore. They're just not meant to be understood. Because if you understood them. It would take the mystery and almost the wonder away from them. So. Here's a picture of Hanako-san. Right there. And I'm going to end this video here. Because this is literally the most edited video I've done. And quite frankly, I've enjoyed doing it. Because, let's face it, it's not often I get on camera and I talk about random bullshit that people most probably aren't even... I can't talk. I'm most probably not even interested in. But I hope some people found this at least interesting. And if nothing else, I've made you want to watch some new horror movies. Or at least research and read about some of this stuff to understand a little bit more because I am not good at explaining shit. So anyway, this has been Oni of Taint, the real one. This has been my folktale and mythology video. I'm gonna say part one because I might do another one of these. Like I said, I like doing it, so I might do another one of them. You never know. Anyway, hope you all enjoyed. I'm going to see if I can watch Carved and Demonic Beauty now. And until next time, guys, take care and sayonara.